should be discussed and the merits pro and against be done um, but the fact that the option for no charging is labeled do nothing uh, I think is really negative and defeatist way of looking at it we can see from the results some people are no to the STZ but they're not opposed to change and this this idea that if we don't charge people if we don't punish them with a charge that we can't do anything our hands are tied behind our back is, is not reality. We can still do things. We just might need to be a bit more imaginative about it. Um, and actually, by saying do nothing as an option rather than no STZ, it does show that we've been sort of one track minded to, to do this and not really open to any alternatives, which I think would be wrong. Um, there should be a proper no STZ option, which I don't feel there is at the moment. There's lots of things that could be achieved without charging and explored lane expansions, reopening closed lanes and roads, longer park and ride hours. You, know, you want to help with climate issues, more charging point infrastructures to make that more appealing. We've discussed at length about buses being franchised, use of technology to adapt timetabling to make buses more appealing, shuttle buses like the Addenbrookes one, but other shuttle buses from park and rides that take people directly where they want to go. Um, installing hospitality units to, so if you have to stay for an interchange at the park and ride then perhaps it's more appealing and you wouldn't mind so much if you had somewhere warm and and uh, not stood outside in the cold for 45 minutes actually making the services that we have uh, better the park and rides in particular need a lot of improvement we haven't fully in my view um, looked at the impact that the railway station at Addenbrooke's will have we know that's coming along uh, online soon we can look at better ways to utilise Cambridge North and the, and the relocated Water Beach Station. Even there are light rail solutions. There are lots of things out there. Work could still happen with businesses and the hospital for incentive schemes. You know, up and down the country, councils are making changes without financially introducing an STZ zone. Um, whereas this is just, well, we do nothing if we don't in, introduce charging. Um, I think we do have to talk about aspiration as well. If people are trying to do the right thing, lots of people are trying to do the right thing, move to hybrid or electric vehicles. Um, and so I wouldn't be, you know, I wouldn't be keen on exempting some and not others. But I don't think we should be charging them. And actually what you're doing is trapping people in those cars for longer, which seems really counterproductive if you, you know, want to do this for the environment, as I know some people do. The costs of administrating each scheme must be included um, for the board when they're taking any decisions forward. Otherwise, you know, we don't actually know how much profitability there is in these schemes and therefore how much could be given. Uh, people wanting to start up businesses would struggle. We've heard of other struggles as well. And the Cambridge resident group, I know, sent uh, documents out to all of us. I thought they were what really stood out for me was how far reaching we had NHS, we had university departments, we had John Lewis, lots of people, age UK, showing concerns about it. We've had a big debate on low incomes. Actually, we know that it's a very small number of people that don't have cars. Um, and those people, we know there are, there's quite often areas of deprivation, so we could target more bus support there. There is a new tax that's already been put on people, so that money could be used for that. There's lots of things that could be done under the current funding and, and the sort of capital costs that this, the GCP could fund, which aren't being explored and not being put into this. It does say like other funding could be made available, but they label it do nothing. Um, Cambridge is meant to be a place of innovation and yet more buses is a very 20th century solution. You know, I will get on a train for long journeys, sometimes even if it takes me longer on the train than in car because I can work on the go on the train I'm not losing those work hours you you don't have the same facilities and infrastructure on the buses there isn't the you know the plugs to plug in your laptop or, or wi-fi etc so looking to something you're know, even having tables on the buses makes it difficult you know look at today I've got a drawer turned upside down but it's enough to work off 
Um, all these sorts of things that would actually reflect the way that we work in the 21st century. And I don't think buses, just more and more buses, will just end up with congestion of buses. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong. I appreciate some people feel we've been down this road for so long that we just need to get it done. I understand their desire to achieve something. I have the same aspiration in, in resolving these issues that we face. But I do think that the STZ is a mistake. Um, I think the fact that if you put this forward without giving the consultation results and we don't give it a proper alternative would be really um, damaging for, the, for all of our reputations, um, especially as it's already been vetoed that there wouldn't be a referendum on it. So we need a proper STZ, no STZ option on the table for the board to consider. Thank you, Chair. Thanks very much, Heather. I'm not sure that's something really the officers are equipped to, to respond to because it's quite a, a political statement, really. Um, so I think we'll have to note it. Chair, um, a lot of <coughs> statements in here have been political. I don't see why you're calling mine out. Well, the other thing I was going to say was that um, those were the sort of points we were capturing from you in our last meeting, which we did, and no one agreed with you. So I think the, um, the response I would give is that um, you've mentioned some very good ideas, um, but they require a magic money tree. Um, if uh, colleagues have had charge of this, but that never, none of those things ever did happen. And, and secondly, the key facilitator for all of the changes we're talking about is the reduction of congestion. And unless we can achieve that, then we're not going to be able to make any of those other improvements. But um, thank you for your speech, and um, it is noted, everyone has heard it, um, but I don't think there's anything the officers can really, can really respond to that. Unless I'm wrong. Thank you. So let's... Um, Chair, so can I clarify that there's absolutely nothing that can be looked at in working up an alternative or even changing the name so it's something more you know, positive and rather than don't do nothing? I'll ask officers to comment on that, that yeah, point. Sorry, yeah. we, we can perhaps more, um, uh, we can perhaps refer to it as a no STZ scenario. It's not intended to do nothing ever in any scenario, but that was the sort of proposal that went out to consultation to which, you know, we're considering the next step. So not doing this thing is perhaps a better description. No STZ. Okay, thank you. Um, so Helen. take one more, um, which was Helen. Yeah. 